Okay, so I'm going to film myself trying to learn longboarding. Um, one is I'm bored, two is I like the aesthetic, and three, I just want to learn something that I know I'm going to be bad at. One is a pivot, one's a fake shove it, front side pivot, and ghost ride. Seem like pretty cool tricks. Um, hopefully I'll be able to master them in this time frame. We will see. And if so, I'll probably move on. If not, I won't make myself up for it. It's just I'm trying to learn things for the sheer joy of learning. Yeah, so I'm gonna film myself during this process, see what happens. So let's get started. Alright, here it is, unboxed. Um, this is like the cheapest longboard that I saw on Amazon. I'm balancing my phone very precariously on this like slot in my fence. So I just finished. I mean, yeah, it's much harder than I thought it would be. I think I need to like reframe my goals a little bit. Maybe instead of doing those three tricks in a month, at least this first week, I'm gonna focus on just being able to be comfortable cruising around, um, work on turning, and then working on stopping. Okay, so here are some things that I found a little bit difficult today. Um, one, when you get on, you have to like get on this way, but then when you when you ride, you have to like, turn your feet this way, and when you want to get off, you turn your feet again this way, and it's like hard for me to turn because I don't really have much balance. Hey. Alright, do it again. Oh! Oh! Do it again. All right, day two of longboarding complete. Um, I think I'm getting better at it. I'm working on getting better at going faster, turning, and stopping. I'm also trying to do this cross step thing. Um, I got it a few times but I definitely don't have the flow that a lot of like really good longboarders have. In fact I look really stiff stepping on it but I'm gonna continue working the cross step and hopefully get better at it. Today's day three of longboarding. Let's see how it goes. I really want to get this cross step thing down. Day three done. Um, I tried doing the 180 turn or 180 step. Uh, I think that's like going better than the cross step actually. I had a moment where I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna make progress in this. I'm so bad. But you know, being bad at something is the first step to being good at it. So yeah, day three. I should be proud of myself. All right, day five complete. <laughs> Got distracted longboarding and purchased a popsicle. Um, in terms of my progress for skating, I feel like I've gotten really far. Like if it told me that in like a few days I would be able to do like a 180 step, and then like kind of do a cross step, and then kind of do Peter Pan's, I'd be honestly shook. So I since learned since day one that um, there are different styles of longboarding. I'm making progress. I just want to like work on finding my balance more and continue working on these moves.
As you can see, I bought a helmet looking a little bit like um, Toad from Mario. I feel like just committing to something every day and practicing for like half an hour or an hour like really does make a difference. And I look very stiff still. I just want to do like one long line and not fall off the board. It's nice just doing things at my own pace. I know I'm not like advancing super super quickly but I'm still like getting better and I think that's all that matters you know. As long as you work on every day and if you suck worse than you did yesterday still know that like in the long term you're gonna get better if you just keep putting in an effort I'm getting so much better at this I'm like really proud of myself actually I finally got the cross up down I mean I had like been able to do it for the past few times but now I finally understood like doing the toe side carve and then like shifting your weight backwards and then just like stepping I don't know it suddenly clicked for me like how to do it stably and like get flow from it and I was also doing Peter Pan's like multiple in a row I was like oh my god things are happening I can get it I can do it and not fall off the board after every trick so yeah I think I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing next week Maybe I'll try some freestyle tricks. I've noticed that my board is a little bit bendier than it was before. Maybe it's a good thing, um, but I definitely need to buy a tool to tighten it soon. Kind of reminds me of a TED talk that I saw once that was like, uh, even though it takes like 10,000 hours to be a master at something, like from not knowing how to do something at all to being like kind of like a beginner that knows how to do it-ish, which is like, I feel like my skill level, it takes about 20 hours. And yeah, like I would say I put around like 10 15 hours in this by now and I feel like I'm like able to cruise around so yeah don't lose hope like if you are just starting something like you're gonna suck for a while if you just keep at it like you'll be able to get kind of good or like proficient like a beginner in a few hours How good is it? oh my god So it's been about a month of longboarding and I have made significant progress. I mean, maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but in terms of not knowing how to skate at all to where I am, I'm very proud of myself. I, was trying, I still can't do a shove it, but I'm working on it. Um, I got like pretty close today. I like landed like one foot on and the other foot like half on one time. It was very, it was a very cool moment, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll just record a video of me like skating and you can see like see for yourself how much I've improved to show just practicing a little bit every day for a month and not really judging yourself on 
how far you are and how long it takes other people compared to how long it takes you really does good. I feel like during this month that I've been longboarding, like just having something to do every single day that I'm like getting better at has really made a difference. Um, it's like one of the highlights of my day to be able to longboard and practice every day. Um, yeah, like during lockdown my life is so unstructured and so monotonous and I feel like I'm not doing anything in the grand scheme of things. Just getting better at one hobby or skill really does make a difference. So I would encourage you to do it, just not because you feel like you need to be productive, but just because it's something to make you feel better during this time. I think there can be a lot of reward in getting better at something, even if you feel like you can't do it. When I protect myself from failure, um, I tend to give up on a lot of like joy that could happen out of like what comes after failure and like the improvement that comes after that. So I'm gonna keep longboarding, but I'm probably not gonna record a video on it. Um, maybe I'll give an update like in a few months from now. But uh, yeah, this whole process of recording myself and vlogging, it's been fun, but it's also been a little nerve wracking. I'm very camera shy. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. <laughs>